when you are using a protractor to measure the orientation of a line, that means you're looking at a map. Notice the north arrow here, that means it's a map. So let's, for example, look at point A to point B. If I'm moving from point A to point B on the map and I wanna get the orientation, I wanna get it from north. Notice it's pointing towards the northern half of the map. So I'm going to, before I set my protractor down, ask what zero is. If I'm gonna measure the orientation bearing heading of this, uh, from north, then zero is north. So I have to put the zero portion of my protractor uh, facing in the same direction as north. And of course, the center is gonna go over point A. So it's gonna look like this, it's facing north, and so I am measuring the angle to the right of north or to the east of north, and it ends up being uh, 56 degrees uh, plus or minus one degree. That is the oceanographer's method. A geologist would write that as north 56 degrees east plus or minus one degree. Now let's look at this. This is the opposite direction. So to get the correct orientation of this line, if I was a geologist, I'd want to start by facing south. As an oceanographer, I would still want to start by facing north but I don't have a protractor that can go all the way around to reach that arrow. It only goes to 180. This arrow is more than 180 for an oceanographer. So the best thing to do is to measure from south. So I'm gonna flip this around, so my zero point south, and I'll go ahead and stick my uh, hole over the B line in this case, here's south. So it's south 56 degrees, south 56 degrees, west plus or minus one degree because that's that's the best I think I can get if I mo move this around I'm not perfectly straight it's going to go up and down about a degree. How would an oceanographer say that? Well it'd be 180 plus 56. 180 plus 56 is 236 degrees plus or minus one degree. Notice that the oceanographer method has no letter because you're starting from north and going clockwise. You don't need, it's always clockwise, you don't need a letter to describe that. The geologist method, you have to actually bring in the starting point, either north or, the, or south, and then how many degrees to the east or west you travel. This last one is just for geologists. If I have a line on a page, which you're gonna see a lot in the geology lab, and there's no arrow facing either direction, then this could be north 56 east, or it could be south 56 west, and we don't like to have two options. So we just pick north 56 degrees east, plus or minus one degree. Another thing you've learned about in this class is latitude and longitudes. Latitudes and longitudes are coordinate systems. They are not bearings. So this whole thing is about bearings, headings, or what we also refer to as orientation of a line. In geology later, you will talk about dip. And in dip, we're looking at how rocks tilt relative to a horizontal surface. This is where finding out what zero is supposed to be first is the way to ensure you use your protractor correctly. Remember up here, zero was north. So we started by having our zero be north. Here the zero was south. So we started by having our zero point south. Here, when we're dealing with how things dip under a horizontal, zero is the horizontal. So we take the bed, let's put a dot right there, where it intersects the horizontal, put that over our dot, and now we're looking at the angle that comes down under, zero being horizontal, so zero to 30. So this would be a 30 degree dip. We will get to dips later, but I wanted to make sure you understand they have uh, uh, a different way of using the protractor. Latitude and longitude, again, is a coordinate system. So just a reminder that latitude and longitude are just a spot you are on the planet and they have a uh, format like 30 degrees north plus or minus two degrees and 120 degrees west plus or minus two degrees. These are a coordinate system, they're very different. Notice the different 
format. It does not match the format at all of an orientation. That makes it much easier. We should be able to recognize latitude and longitude when we see it because of those letters with the numbers uh, and recognize it's a completely different beast, coordinate system and orientation of a line.